Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. Here we'll be playing Kane versus Kha'Zix. Both of us want to do pretty similar things. Me personally as Kane, I want to farm. I want to get a level lead, I want to get an item lead, and then I want to fight the bad guy. With Kane getting his orbs, one thing that people don't know is that, I mean, the more damage you deal, the more orbs you get. So your first turn doesn't have to be all about any sort of like gank or play that has to get you a kill. The first turn should be a mix of the farm, how you deny the enemy, and then getting a little bit of orbs if you have any play. So we get to level 2 here, and then I'm going to move into the Kha'Zix's red side. I could probably find if he's on red or the raptors. Either way, we can cause some trouble. So, no raptors, that means... Well, no red, that means that he is definitely on those Krugs. We'll deny him his level 3 this way, and then we have some options from here. We'll both be level 2 and kind of useless, but... I can go to my blue side, I can go to my red side and get level 3. Crossing through mid, getting a little bit of XP will also allow me to get that level 3 a whole lot easier. Let's do the red buff and then go into the Kha'Zix blue side. He still needs one camp for level 3, so he's going to do those wolves or his blue gromp. And then by doing this, I'll be able to fight him a whole lot easier. My bot lane has push too, so... We have a pretty good advantage of moving into his blue side. Nice, they even killed him. Welp, I didn't get level 3. Not even close, actually. Let's move on in there anyways. <laughs> Let's cause some problems. Let's not move in there, my team's resetting. Yo, back to my camps. It's okay, though, we did not get the Kha'Zix level 4. In a sense. He still wants to get that Scuttle Crab, right? So that's our initial attack. The Night him 1 camp. And then here's where it really backfires, Bob. Look at all my camps that are up. I gotta do all of those. I gotta do Raptors, Blue, Gromp, etc, etc. And then my mid lane's resetting. Man. Hey guys, does anyone want to fight? My lanes are winning their lane too hard. What a shame. Now this guy's gonna be level 3. So if I get lucky here, I can just scoot on over. And then smite this bad boy. Auto. Auto smite. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I am wasting Kha'Zix time. Now I go to the left side, Bob. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be an annoying asshole on the rift. I mean, I locked in Kane. I play the, you know, I look the part. I'm playing the part. My smite's coming up. Dude, Cosmic Insight owns. Auto Q. Auto W. Auto moving. Now he has his jump, but that's okay. <laughs> We got some orbs, and it's back to my camps. Okay. Oh man, my smite was almost up. That was a good ward by him. So now the onus is on him to get something done in the meantime, you know? He's going back to his camps. He's feeling like, oh, finally. Finally, I have some respite. But he's just level 4, you know? He's not getting a reset off. He's not doing anything really important. So we'll clean up these camps, get my reset, and then we'll have serrated Durkin. I mean, at the very least... I feel pretty good about annoying Kha'Zix. <laughs> so my next goal is to get level 5, and then I can start looking for my own plays level 5. Pull these bad boys together, auto Q. Because with level 5, with my item, I'll just be dealing a whole lot more damage. Alrighty. I just need that one camp too, I can do the two Void Grubs or my Raptors for level 5. Alrighty, so... They recently nerfed the interaction with Profane Hydra, where you can't use the active during the WQ, um, mainly during Kane's Q, and because of that, that kind of nerfs the whole build path. So instead of we're going for Ghostblade as our first item, playing it pretty similar to Kha'Zix, honestly. Very strong one item spike into we can build Boots Lucidity second, and then that will give us the CDR that we're looking for. And then that's also just a whole lot more mobility, that Ghostblade plus the tier 2 boots. Tier 2 boots giving you more movement speed, as well as more ability haste. Let's go ahead and move into those Void Grubs. I would be pretty surprised... Oh, the fight's already started here. Let's clean up this guy's wave. Do W! The Silas has TP. E, Q. What is this guy thinking? Sorty... Blitzcrank still sticking around, it's pretty annoying. Kha'Zix got the Void Grubs on the top side, that means that bot lane is all mine. Come on, boys. 
Thresh, wake up, man. Oh, this split screen's gonna be able to interlane for free. A swing and a miss. W. Amazing. Control ward and then moving up here, trying to get a flank position. We can find the Kha'Zix or... I don't even know, Bob. I don't even know. Get on to this Aphilios. <laughs> yeah, danger? Guys, nothing's happening here. We're level 5. We're on tempo. It's just like, how to do anything. Fresh, come on down, man. I'm going to start the Scuttle Crab. W. Auto. E. Moving. Can't really kite into the quay there. Flash. Q. Auto. No follow-up. Bob, I'll be honest. My allies need to deal some damage. They need to hit some bad guys. There's like no great play here, so I'm just going to reset. I'm going to reset and then farm my camps. Since we don't get a level up off any of the camps, I'd rather spend my gold, get some HP back, get back out on the map with a whole lot more value. So I'll clear from top lane to bot. I'll have enough camps to give me the level 6. We're getting a lot of red orbs, which doesn't feel too good. So we really need to get a play with my level 6 onto the Aphilios or the Huey. Even when you're midway through the transformation where we have mostly red orbs right now, if we get one play onto the ranged characters, that can give us the entire blue form. So that's all I really need. A really extended long play. And the way that we're going to get that probably is through a flank. Anytime you do a gank on pain, if you're behind the enemy, and then E onto them, then it's going to be way more likely to be successful than it is. You know, just imagine you're running at them from the river. That shit's stupid. Kane has the ability to avoid vision because of his Q. You can dash over walls, and you can get behind into the enemy jungle without them seeing you. And because of that, you need to utilize it, get behind them, use the E to flank them, get on top of them, and have a... You know, hit them a lot. Hit them with the auto attacks, the W, the Q, everything. And then that's going to set you up to get way more orbs than just, you know, randomly showing up, flash Q ulting. It's not the whole shebang for Mr. Kane. At least in the early game, it has to happen way slower. Get the level up, but I think I'll just keep farming for now. Moving into Kha'Zix jungle also becomes an issue where he's pretty strong. Big man hasn't been touched just yet. The Huey's level 8, man. I'm level 7. Alrighty, so here's we, how we get into that flank position. We're going to Q over the Dragon Wall here. Not spending our E. If we spend our E, then we don't have any play. We don't have any way to get onto them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're engaging onto the Thresh. Easy. We're going to flash on top of the Aphilios. Flash Q. Auto W. Ulti. Auto. Q. Yeah, that's a lot of red orbs, but we'll see. Boom. So close to the transformation. Stay on top of Jinx here. Sweeper. Come on, Kha'Zix. Let it rip. I need some orbs, big man. Let it rip. <laughs> I can let Kha'Zix attack me here because he won't one-shot me. Moving. Kha'Zix, what's the deal, man? Where are you? E, moving. I could just start the dragon. W. Auto, Q. Well, I'm starting the dragon. Any bad guys want to come hit me? If not, I get the objective and then we can just regank bot trying to get that blue form. But Bob, we might have to go red form from here. What we do with the serrated Dirk in red form, you got me. To turn that bad boy into an edge of night, but not the ideal scenario. Do the bot lane, Bob. Flank that bad boy, hurry up. Come on, man. W. Push. Ow. 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 Hook him. Play. Anything? Guys, anything? <laughs> Thresh, anything? Come on. Come on, I got places to be. Thresh, you just don't respect my time, I understand. Dude, I hate this shit with Kane. I need my ally to do something. And you know how that goes. W. Well, 
lantern. Play. Hook. Misses. I'm hooked. Dead. <laughs> w. I'm alive. I so got red form though. We ought to die to Blitzcrank right here if we can. Dies to Aphilio. Shit. I get red form and I die to Aphilios. How do we manage this one, Bob? So we need a we need a bruiser item. Eclipse? That's manageable. Alrighty, so we got a serrated dirk, a Caulfield Tour Hammer, and a pickaxe. Transform into the red form, and now it's time to farm. Fucking finally, man. So we basically have to do that play in which we overstay in the bot side, and we're just waiting. Thresh, for the love of God, go in. Any melee support, anything. That Aphelios was in a 1v2 for the longest time because Blitzcrank ganked top. And then I'm waiting. I need to hit that Aphelios. Need to hit that bad guy like I've never had to hit a bad guy before because I need those orbs. Ay dios, and then it just takes so long. I'm so surprised that there's any blue side camps up here at all. So Kha'Zix just farms in the meanwhile. He goes 90 CS. We're going to eat the even in XP for a little bit with him here. God bless ketchup XP. Just go ahead and Q this bad boy. So with the red form, our Q now deals percentage max HP physical damage. So armor pin's still going to be good. Um, and then our abilities heal us for the damage dealt. As well as our ulti healing quite a bit. Our W now knocks up. And... Honestly, it's not too bad into the enemy team comp. We have more CC for the Cassante and the Aphilios, so a lot more useful into those champions now. Let's see if Mr. Cassante wants to die. Q, W, knock up, auto, moving, moving, nice, auto, Q, ulti, he's so dead. Boink, he was trying to get me through the wall, not today. Let's reset, push out that wave, we got the Eclipse. Now the Eclipse is pretty good for Kane because it gives you 70 AD, 15 ability haste, a little bit of damage, and shield. So it works as an HP item as well. We'll go Edge of Night as our second item, completing that Serrated Dirk into that. And that will give us a little bit more HP as well. So with these two items, it gives us damage and tankiness, and then we can go Shereldas as our third item, giving us damage into that Cassante and Blitzcrank. Who we're going to be hitting? As Red Kane, you got to hit the front line. Hold on, I'm coming. Honey, hold on, hold on. Q, moving. E, moving. Now I can front to back this bad boy to set up the Silas. We're going to Q, W. Good knock up. Moving. Q. What? Guys. Guys, go in. Guys, go in. <laughs> Guys, I set up the knock up. Go in. Go ahead. Flash. E, E2, W, auto, Q. He's dead. No? Understandable. Listen, Bob, we're playing tempo anyways. We're playing tempo against the Kha'Zix, and these chances aren't panning out, so that generally puts us behind. Not the end of the world. Very disappointing from the teammates. There we go. Shut down to Silas, and it's all okay, Bob. All of our deaths are now corrected. Boink. Nice. So these camps are underleveled, and I have a shit ton of AD. That's one thing that's pretty beast about the Eclipse. Is that it gives you so much AD in combination with any of those serrated dirk items. So I'll go ahead and farm my camps now. I honestly feel like this is a mistake. I feel like I should have just reset to the bot side and then attack the Aphilios resetting to lane, but here we are. This gives me some XP, but it doesn't really transition into much. I have to assume this area is warded, so I'll go ahead and sweep around here, try to get into an advantageous position. Control ward that bad boy, and then I'm trying to get right here, in which I can attack the Hui, moving to the river. Okay. Waiting, waiting. But Crank's not the main target. Hui doesn't care? Come on, man. Come on, Huey, move to the river. I dare you. She is have a good reason, but come on. There we go. Auto Q smite. Auto W. Ulti. Dodge that fear. Q. Auto. E. Moving. Moving! Come on. Dude, that slow is ridiculous. We ought to get tier 2 boots at this point, man. My options are like nothing. I feel like it's just boots lucidity. 
Give me the CDR, man. Yeah, I'm going to need it. Now I'm going to need a lot of Qs to take out these guys because we're going to be stuck on a two-item spike. This is one of the downsides of Red Cane. You do not get as much gold as the Blue Cane. You, just don't, you simply don't farm as fast. Resetting to the bot side here. All the action is happening. We're going to have to front to back this fight. Q. E. For ulti. It instantly dies. W. Oh, I got the knock up. Stay on top of Jinx. Oh, Kha'Zix didn't even try to get in there. Nice. Nice. So here's what we're going to do, Bob. We're going to farm our blue side into that top lane turret. Since the Kassante died, it really opens up to take that bad boy. Whenever you're farming with Kane, especially Red Kane, focus on just using that Q. You don't need to use the W. It slows things down. Your W deals as much as an auto. At this stage of the game, it's all about that QCD. That's why we go those boost lucidity. Speed that part up. Oops. Off we go. Wow, they kill Hui too. I think I should just go mid, but it seems a bit hard now. Since we went the red smite, we'll have a slow on our Q coming up too. W smite, auto, moving. Sorty. Kha'Zix knows he kicks my ass, but taking that from a neutral stance doesn't have to be the end of the world. We just get chunked and back off. Let's get the blue buff, um, probably reset, spend our gold, and then look for a fight. Everyone else is resetting too, so should be good. Very close to level 11. Look at Kha'Zix, level 11, 140 CS, but he has the shutdown, Bob. If he makes one mistake, it's all over. That will show him to not play tempo. That will show you to play farm style. Come on, man, my level 11. You already took the small raptors, man. Looking to get into the river and then start a play. Hook. E, W. Q, ulti. Auto, Q. Auto, flash. W. Copy. There you go. Whoa! Just the AoE alone kills that guy. No camps. So right there we start the play, sets up my team, and all they'd have to do is follow up. The Silas and the Jinx ulti, that's all I need. Honestly, it's probably better that I got Red Kane with two assassins on my team. And it seems like they're playing pretty well. So our next goal here is to start winning these objectives. We're level 11, we're on the power spike. And we want to take that these turrets into the into the dragon, and then with the Baron coming up, that will be our next one. <clears throat> so where my Jinx is pushing, I'm just going to bolster her right now. Even though the Thresh is with her, you know, could be could be better. E Q. Not trying to take the fight into them. Dragons up in 140. We'll full clear down. Nice. Winning, Bob. For all of Kha'Zix's farming, I am winning. I am level 11, 40 CS down. God bless. <laughs> God bless jungle who's with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a casual 800 damage with the Q. I'm going to save both my smite charges. Ugh. What's the deal, man? Aren't we friends? Making sure there's no noobs in my jungle here. Next step is going to be this dragon. Since Shinx resets, I won't use my smite, I guess. I don't know why she would reset. If she has a whole item, that's crazy. Just a pickaxe. Okay. I'm gonna get all my resources. I got a lot of time to kill here. Give me all the mana. Now, the enemy has a pretty good team fight. They have a very, very, very good front to back with Aphilios Way. So if we die, we really need to be careful. It's much better for me to have flanks. And I have two assassins on the team, so... 
It's not like we have to do anything serious here. Two over the wall in position. Sweeper. W. Moving. Whoa, Silas killed him. We're in there, Bob. Q. W. Oh, God. It's a way moment right here. Q ulti. Smite auto. Q. Nice. Aphilia was top. I can't believe it. The Silas just 1v9 that. All by himself. Got in there. Somehow kills Kha'Zix. God bless. For all your farming, Kha'Zix. 21 minutes, 2 kills. For all of your farming. Silas just one-shots you in the dragon fight. Flash from Aphilios. Azonias. And then exit. Okay. Since that Aphilios used that flash, I want to pay attention to that one. If we flash on him in the next fight, that gives us a way better chance to win that Baron. Reset. Got that Edge of Night. Baron's up. Time to play around that bad boy. I almost have a level lead on Kha'Zix. Low. Edge of Night. Couple long swords. I don't know where they're going. Probably Black Cleaver. That's like the easiest one to round this bad boy out. HP, AD, Ability Haste, uh, Armor Pin. You're not going to be Armor Pin as a third item here. I can go Shirelda's, I can go Black Cleaver, but since I'm definitely acting as a frontline for my team, the Black Cleaver just gains so much more value. Even though Jinx is like the only AD source on my team. I'm going to clear most of my camps up towards the top side here, skipping the Krug so that I have more tempo. I only need so many camps for level 13, so... Well, you guys really want to fight? Moving. E to get vision. Yeah, spot out Mr. Kha'Zix. Then we're going to flash Q, ulti. Land, W. Auto Q. Such a bad path. Focusing the Kha'Zix here. Oh, Q is fine. W, Q. The Kha'Zix is still around here. I feel like he exited all the way down there, but whatever. Yeah, he totally exited the fight, man. 20 seconds on my smite, and there's the FF. That's about what I expected. <laughs> Final score, 2, 3, and 10. Yeah, baby. The cane of all time, baby. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Sometimes you gotta overstay for those orbs. Sometimes it costs you a lot of farm. The mistake that the Kha'Zix made was so much farming. My team was pushing, pushing, pushing. He had so many opportunities to attack, didn't take them. That'll put us at Masters, 300 LP, final damage dealt, 12,000, damage taken, 2,600. Didn't even really get a play out of mid game, which is fine. I would say Red Cane stopped scaling past like level 13. Once you start putting points in that E, and you know we go three items, not as strong, so I'm glad that the enemy forfeited. They still could have had a chance. They were just really poopy pants after, you know, thinking that they had a lead and then totally throwing it. Anyways, GG, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.